So I'm Christine Evans, I'm the Project and Development Manager at Rotherham Museums Arts and Heritage and I've been working on a project called Collaborative Connections. It's funded by Historic England and what we've been doing is working with local communities to engage with heritage sites. So tonight we're at Keppel's Column. So it's a really kind of significant monument that fits into the wider landscape. This project was very much about engaging communities with the monument itself. So as part of this work I've been working with lots of local people and we've created a community group that will really help us to increase engagement and awareness around the monument itself. And the project really has explored lots of local people's stories. Well, my name's Richard. I live in Kimworth and I've lived in Kimworth all my life. I was actually born there. And as a child, I used to come up to the column with my parents and brothers and we used to climb the stairs and quite often try and count them and always get different numbers. I think the official number is 217 steps and uh, look at the views from up there. And then we st I started coming on my own and they used to charge a penny, old money, to go up at one time. So there an old chap who was sat at the door and he used to charge a penny to go up. So it was, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, fond memories for me. The group has also worked together to commission an artist and the artist Matthew is doing a projection this evening. My name's Matthew Rosier and I'm an artist for this project, I was really interested in how the monument from this heritage site, from the Wentworth estate, how this could be reimagined as a sort of gateway into the modern estate that now sits next to the Keppel's Column. The piece is a projection work and it is a projection mapped video that goes the full height of Keppel's Column, about 35 metres, and it's essentially a procession of people walking past the column from left to right, implying that they're walking into the estate beyond. So I sort of thought of it as a kind of oversized grand entrance to the estate and what I wanted to do was video local residents and people that live in the area and use the site. So the members of the community that have participated in the work will actually be become, for one night, actually part of the Keppel's Column itself. I hope that it opens up the possibilities and people's imaginations of what can be done with a site like this, one which maybe hasn't had as much attention over sort of recent years. So I hope that it becomes a, a real community monument rather than just a kind of heritage monument in its own right, but something that actually is used in different ways throughout the year, uh, whether there's different kinds of events, artistic projects, things like that, because it's, it's an amazing site and I've never seen anything like it. And I think the fact that it exists next to this this community and this estate, I think, is, is, is quite amazing. For the future for the site, we're hoping to further develop the community group to hopefully look at what could be possible, perhaps with a community model, to have more volunteers involved in the site. So perhaps after the repair, we can do little tours and heritage tours of the monument. But also, the hope is also to engage children and young people with the site so that it can be sustainable for the future. For a lot of people, this is kind of on their backyard as such and it's about people's connection to their local place and about connection to their own heritage as well and for those people that perhaps don't originate from Rotherham to actually explore what this monument means to them as well and what the heritage means to them and I think it's part of your own history for the future, your own experience today. I'm really passionate about heritage and I'm interested in the past but I think it's people's stories that are really, really interesting and actually for people to engage with the heritage will enable it to continue for generations to come and for people to be able to share their experiences um, in the past, in the present but also in the future. Because a lot of the contemporary history is about people's experiences and people's stories, to have people projected onto the monument and become also part of today's heritage is really lovely.